Also, let's uh, look into our new pack, uh, understand how it works, and uh, understand how, what, why do you need it, or what is, uh, how you can use it. Also, uh, it's really a massive pack with seven thousand assets, about three and a half thousand uh, different um, weapon types, uh, starting with nineteenth century uh, to nowadays, and you can find you will find a really big. Um, Variations of uh, different types of weapons in uh, our custom shape library, and here uh, I'm going to show you how you can use it, uh, how you can manipulate with these shapes to get a nice result, and how also you can just make it uh, useful for you. For example, I'm using in my project uh, these custom shapes like this. So, uh, if I need to concept some uh, weapons for some uh, reason for my uh, or I'm looking for just references, I too easily just can drag and drop both files. I remind you that uh, there is a two uh, types of custom shapes, creating the one, uh, one, one only. So the first one is the wall shape, the second one is the inside detailization, which will give you more information about this weapon. So uh, since, uh, make sure that uh, you're, uh, when you're dragging and dropping the shapes uh, from shape panel tool, it's all both uh, is have a black color. And also make sure that they are in uh, this uh, hierarchy, so uh, and one is down below the second. Then just hit the action, action script that I'm, uh, that will be included uh, in the package. And you will get this result automatically. It's very sp uh, fast and useful stuff, so here is the first weapon in from our library, and I will choose the second to have some variations to manipulate with, so I'm choosing this one, and also this, I will choose again the upper one, and hit sometimes, yeah, it can give some artifacts, but it's not that difficult to fix them. So this is my second weapon, and as you can see here, when I have a uh, like two or more types of weapons, I can easily uh, use them as the references, or I can play with uh, the silhouettes of our weapons and just create the uh, one I need. So, for example, I have this kind of weapon too. Let's choose some antique ones, some interesting. I'm making sure that my both shapes have as the black color and choosing the bottom one and hitting shape merge vector sure shape merge vector and what and how can i uh, use it as a concept artist as the illustrator or someone something like that i just can easily just uh, erase the parts that i don't need or just cut out the parts i need and starting to blend different parts with different weapons for example i can take the bottom part of this weapon and try it to blend it with this kind of weapon to get a nice result, it's a different and interesting. It has a variations of concepts, variations of new weapons out there. Or just I'm gonna choose the simple brushes and starting to overpaint some parts to give it the more interesting shapes, more interesting details on our weapon. So, for example, if it's like not the polished weapon, it can be something overloaded with some clothes or some, or add some stitches. point is that here I have really huge library of uh, different types, different centuries of uh, weapon history, and I can easily just drag and drop it it's here and use it as a reference or manipulate with it silhouettes or uh, shapes or some parts that I like from uh, one weapon and replace it with another. So it's the point of, uh, it's the big point of our new library and I hope it will be very useful for you.
as it's helping me in my job. So yeah, as you can see, it's easy to use. It's uh, really huge and really interesting. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.